Hi, Jane here. I just wanted to give a little background about Ernesto, who's one of several on our staff who started out as one of the vulnerable children who came to the Fountain of Hope. Ernesto was born in Lusaka, and he lost both of his parents by the age of 12. He came to the Fountain of Hope drop-in center in 2000 to begin school. And when the first Labuto Library opened there in 2007, he joined the group of participants in the library's first program of the visual arts. Ernesto's early paintings depicted the life he saw in the community, including people fighting and suffering. He liked to create paintings that showed traditional cultures of Zambia. He learned that he felt happy when he was painting. In 2009, he and the other Labuto Library artists had a first exhibition of their paintings at the Henry Tayali Gallery in Lusaka. Ernesto went on to, create, to learn how to create computer graphics and has since played a central role in creating our computer-based Zambian language reading programs. Then, in 2011, Lubuto's artists were invited to display their paintings during a month-long exhibition at the renowned Stella Jones Gallery in New Orleans, opening during the American Library Association's annual conference there. Dr. Jones very generously launched the exhibition free of charge, and all of the proceeds went to support the artists and their training. Well, it turns out that among the visitors to the gallery were actress Angela Bassett and her sister, whom she had brought to buy for her her first original artwork. They carefully studied all of the paintings, and Ms. Bassett's sister chose Ernesto's painting of traditional dancers as her favorite, particularly because it was abstract. Angela told her she got the best one. Well, you can imagine how excited Ernesto and the other kids were when they were told about this. And years later, when this story resurfaced during wildly popular showings of the film Black Panther at the libraries, well, he's kind of a celebrity now himself. He also specializes in holding babies when young mothers come to use the library. The art program was facilitated over the years by several celebrated Zambian artists, but it wasn't until Ernesto took over that the program began for the first time attracting girls in significant numbers. Just saying. Children of every stripe flock to Ernesto's art lessons, where especially the most shy, reticent, and vulnerable are welcomed, accepted for who they are, and gently encouraged to learn and grow.